What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Happy 4th. This is another 4th of July video. This one involves some shotguns. We're gonna have fun today. So we have a 20 gauge, a 12 gauge, and a 10 gauge, and we're loaded up with Power Shock Federal slugs. So 20, 12, and 10. We have a 2 and 3 quarter inch, 1600 feet per second, 3 quarter inch, or 3 quarter ounce slug coming out of the 20 gauge. Out of the 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, 1610 feet per second, and that's a one ounce slug. Now out of the 10 gauge, we have a three and a half inch shell going at 1280 feet per second, and we have a one and three quarter inch, three quarter ounce slug. So incrementally, we step up the power, and we're going to see what these do first on some bowling balls. We also have other things we're going to shoot, but for this video, we're going to keep it short and sweet, and we're going to do bowling balls. Is this a goofball test? Kind of, maybe, I don't know, but I actually want to see what the power is. A bowling ball is a really weird medium to shoot. They do really weird things, and I think that for a shotgun slug, it's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be pretty cool, and it's going to show us the power difference between the three, and we have the pretty much the same brand of slug all the way across the board, so I think it's going to be an even showing. Let's get to it. 20 gauge power shock, left bowling ball. That was pretty cool. Let's take a look. So I've never been too sure what was exactly inside of a bowling ball. Now I know. It's hard, whatever it is. It's weird, but there you go. Let's shoot another one. 12 gauge, power shock. Let's kick it up a notch. The 20 gauge is pretty cool. Let's see what the 12 does. And I'm blading myself just in case anything crazy comes back at me. That was cool, let's go look. So again, sorry I'm a sweaty mess, it's just pretty hot out here. The 20 gauge and the 12 gauge. There's a weird smell in the air, I'm assuming it's this plastic stuff, but surprisingly, you can see the difference. This did wall a bit harder than that, um, but it's pretty close. I mean, they look pretty comparable. You can tell this one got just a little deeper into the center stuff and it blew out just a bigger crater in general. It still has a rounded crater it, it hits it, but it still has the innards of it are still kind of rounded. I think that's pretty cool. So let's put these back and let's hit this with the Mighty 10. So now we have the Mighty 10 gauge. This is a three and a half inch power shock slug and 10 gauge is awesome. If you don't know what it's all about, you should look it up. You should check it out, watch some videos on it. I'm going to be putting out a lot more content on 10 gauge. Some people say, why do you need a 10 gauge when you have a 12 gauge, three and a half inch? Well, a 10 gauge is a 10 gauge and they're just fun and they're just powerful. Factory loadings can get pretty hot, but if you want to get the most out of your 10 gauge anymore, you pretty much have to hand load yourself. And if you do learn how to hand load 10 gauge, boy, can you get crazy. But this right here, let's see what the factory does. <laughs> different type of bowling ball i guess but let's go see so we ran into two problems with our test first of all this ball here is a different medium so two of these were this corkboard looking stuff it's not corkboard trust me and then one is more of just a concrete looking thing kind of like a porcelain almost so 
we're gonna have to redo that portion of the test for that reason and because we didn't capture it on camera like we were supposed to something happened something glitched out you can't take that shot back but i don't really want to shoot this again because it's not the same material i want to kind of compare it if we roll these around especially the 20 gauge one we don't have a ton of damage so we do have some holes in here that might compromise things but i think we can get an idea if we maybe hit the face right here so let's try with a 10 gauge I'd say that's a good face right there, maybe right there. Let's try with a 10 gauge to hit that, see if we can make up for our double failure on this test. All right, take two, 10 gauge versus bowling ball. Let's try to get it right this time. Now, I know somebody's going to say that was a compromised bowling ball, and you could be right. That could have, thing could have been cracked all the way apart, but that thing just exploded. Let's take a look. So that thing is now in three pieces. Well, more than three pieces, but three big chunks, and yeah, it's destroyed. So kind of an unfair test because it was already cracked. I'm going to have to get a new bowling ball and redo that from the start, but in the meantime, I think I can make up for that test just a little bit by hitting the one on the right with a 12-gauge. Let's see what happens. It's already been compromised. Let's see if a compromised bowling ball would crack the same way with a 12 gauge as it did with a 10 gauge. So compromised bowling ball on the right. Let's pop it with a 12 gauge. big difference so big difference here we didn't get the complete explosion but we did get another chunk out it's not coming apart easily so I think the 10 gauge did hit it harder what can we do with this one let's just for fun hit this one with a 10 gauge again just for fun so let's just see if this is some sort of bullet resistant bowling ball that we didn't know is special forces bowling balls or something. But let's see if we can crack it on the second time around with a 10 gauge. That's a resistant little feller. So I think it's safe to say that we can kind of use bowling balls as body armor. At least the Brunswick Access GFN0588. Interesting. So what do you think about this red, white, and blue 4th of July bowling ball test with the shotguns? I think it did demonstrate the power. It might be a little oddball test, two different types of balls, but hey, some people have two different types of balls. You never know. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Turkey's Opinion. We're going to be back real soon with these three shotguns. We're going to hit some lead plates and maybe some other things. So that's all coming up real quick. Make sure you're subscribed. In the meantime, till we see you next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting.